we're gonna have a a fun show on Saturday. Um, you want to announce what we're doing? What we're doing Saturday morning? Yes, we are gonna do another watch party on YouTube, so you can tune in 9 a.m. Central Time. We'll preview both the men's and the women's races, and then for the men's and women's races, we will have special guests. Justin Knight will be joining us for the men's race. Courtney Frerichs will be joining us for the women's race, and we will be a second screen experience for you. They're going to offer their insight. Gordon's going to have all the stats and projections going on the screen like he did last year. It's going to be a ton of fun. Again, we are not streaming the race, but we're going to be having a watch party so you can have the race on on one window and then you can listen to me and Gordon. And let's be honest, mostly Justin and Courtney, because that's the people that you want to hear from, because those are the people who won NCAA titles and have won big races before. They're going to give their insight on what, what they're seeing. Courtney did it with us last year. New Mexico, her alma mater, even better this year. Perhaps she's going to be there to witness New Mexico winning another title. Justin Knight, of course, won the individual title uh, and a team title for Syracuse. So it's going to be exciting on Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Central. Tune in. It's easy. It's on YouTube. Just go on to YouTube. Uh, flow track podcast youtube channel same one that you're watching this on now perhaps or if you're listening go on out to youtube search flow track podcast and you can find the show on saturday morning we'll also put an article up on the site if you want the links and, and any more info um it's kind of exciting to have courtney and justin on um for a, a reason that you probably haven't thought of but this is a reason i've been thinking of lately that I have this weird feeling, just this weird mm. feeling. I love trying to find uh, similarities in sports, like trends, like this is a repeat of this thing that happened 10 years ago. I do it a lot in basketball. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Most of the time mm -hmm. I'm wrong, but wrong, occasionally yeah, I'm right. And I love trying to find the little replica, like cyclical, replicable situations across country. And I look at the 2017 men's individual field and the 2017 men's team field, and it seems eerily similar to the 2021 field. So I'm kind of like seeing, will we have this kind of the same type of result as 2017? Um, mm -hmm. I can go down, I can break down what I see as the similarities, or should I save that for for Saturday? I, but I. I think you save it for Saturday. You throw it to Justin so he can look really confused because you're going to confuse all of us when you do it. Because you're going to be like, you are Connor Mance. I mean, I mean, yeah, he is Connor Mance. Baxter <laughs> and Day is Abdi Hamid Nur and Nico Young, the two NAU no, guys. He, so we're doing this Gilbert now. Gilbert Keegan. Gilbert doing it Keegan now. is Wesley Kiptu. Grant Fisher is Cooper Tier. You know, the, 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 the strong track guy. Dylan Maggard. Is Adrian Wildeshut. Vincent Kiprop is Victor Naturally. Kiprop of Alabama. <laughs> Peter Lamong is Drew Bosley. Lawrence Kipkoek of Campbell is Athanas Kiyoko of Campbell. I can go on and on. But then on the team wise, everyone thought it was an NAU BYU battle, right? Because mm -hmm. NAU was the defending champs and the BYU men were the ones who were going to try to defeat them. Everyone here is thinking it's an NAU Notre Dame battle. And they use defending champs. Notre Dame's the ones that can beat them. But then Portland shows up that people weren't talking about and finds a way to be the true challenger in NAU. I think Portland is the Oklahoma State of this year. Oklahoma State is actually the real challenger that will, you know. So Okay. So you did it now. Similarities. It's good. I did it now. Listen. Yeah, I got it out of the way. But nobody's saying NAU BYU this year. Most people aren't. No, no, people are saying NAU Notre Dame. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Well, even that. Are people really saying that as much as NAU BYU? I thought NAU BYU was up a couple notches than what we have this year with NAU and Notre Dame. Just because we haven't seen well, Notre Dame full strength as much. True. But NAU BYU didn't become a thing until after the 2017 year. Because 17 was the first year where they said, we're going to beat you. Fair. And they lost. And then they lost again in 18. And then they won in 19. Here, you know, I feel like Notre Dame, this is the first year Notre Dame is saying we're going to beat. NAU because Notre Dame wasn't trying to beat NAU last year. I mean, I guess they were, but it wasn't on the map. But you know. mm -hmm. so we'll see. I watched your show 
It was a good show. It was a good penalty.